Cancer, what is going on? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And if this video resonates, like, share, and subscribe. So Cancer, we are going to do something totally new. I'm going to answer your questions at the end of my reading. So if you want your question featured, check out the comment section. I'm going to pin the instructions. All you have to do is give me your question with a short background. That's how I pick up on your energy. Keyword, short and sweet, okay? That's how I will pick up. So um, I will start doing this probably five days from now. So just start collecting all your questions now. And in five days from now, I will start reading your questions. I just have to get caught up first. Okay, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you, Cancer. 10 of pentacles, four of pentacles, four of cups. Look at that synchronicity, two fours right there, and the seven of pentacles. So right now, spirit is telling you to let go. Let go because you are about to be given some abundance, but in order to get it, I see here that there is almost like a sacrifice, which is not even a sacrifice, but there's something you have to give in order to get. Abundance is waiting for you. That 10 of pentacles lets me know that there's something very, very good as far as you know financial freedom, as far as some bonus inheritance, promotion there's something financially maybe a new house maybe you're going to move into a new place but something with that pentacle energy which is full of abundance so there's something very 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 good just waiting for you here in order for it to happen you have to give something up that's what spirit wants right spirit wants it's not like back in the day the pagan days where they're like you know sacrifice something crazy we're not doing any of that weird stuff what we're doing love all religions but what we're doing is spirit's letting you know Give me something to show me that you are ready. Give me something. Show me that you want more. Spirit always rewards those who reward themselves, right? For example, say if I'm like, Spirit, I would like six pack abs. Spirit's like, cool. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you get that. I'm going to open up opportunities for you. I'm going to have someone enter your life that's going to maybe train you. I'm going to show you a new diet. You know, next time you're on your phone, all of a sudden a new diet's going to pop up. That's going to have your name on it. I'm going to show you YouTube videos. I'm going to do all that for you. But... I reward those who reward themselves. So show me that you want this. Cool. You know what I would do? I'd be like, okay, spirit, check this out. So I'm going to wake up and then I'm going to go for a morning walk. Is that showing you? Spirit's like, done, Vince, done. Well done. See where I'm going with this, right? Something small, small sacrifice. Spirit wants you to let go of something. And the energy that I'm picking up, spirit wants you to let go of the energy of not being grateful. Something we all have, right? For example, maybe you're telling yourself, oh man, I want those six pack abs, but you know, like, come on, I had to put on so much weight during the holidays. And it's just kind of like, oh, you know, like, oh man, I, 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 I wish I was back to where I was. Now, all you got to do is rather that I wish, I hope, I want, I need, which is showing spirit, ah, oh, man, I'm still, you know, dealing with my limiting beliefs and my human filters. What I would do in a situation like this, I'd be like, all right, spirit. So I had a great time during the holidays. It was delicious. Thank you so much for all that. Now is the time that I am going to change my life around. Now is the time I'm going to get comfortable on my own skin and I am ready to rock this. So what I do, I was grateful for the holidays. I was grateful for the food I ate. I am so happy that I was able to enjoy this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I am ready for more. And that's, that is how you plant your seeds and watch it grow. That is you. Remember, Cancer, you are someone who controls your life. You don't got to wait for nothing. You don't got to wait for no one. You don't have to hope, want, need, wish, cry, kick, scream, none of this. I used to do this before till I figured out how to play this game. And now you know how to play this game, right? This game is vibrations and frequencies. And this game is really easy once you uh, know how to play it. And knowing how to play it is always being silly, fun, optimistic, and that's it. And I'll give you an example, right? So imagine if you are trying to attract the color yellow, hence me being silly with this example, right? Say if you're trying to attract the color yellow, what color do you have to be in order to attract it? What would you guess? You'd have to probably be yellow. Yellow would attract yellow. If I'm a glowing ball of yellow, maybe yellow will come with me, come to me, right? Say if I'm a dog, another dog would want to come sniff me and be like, oh, you're a dog too. So what does that mean? So if yellow is trying to attract yellow, then Happiness attracts happiness. Love attracts love. You know, abundance attracts abundance. Now, what does hate attract, right? I don't even like saying that word, but what does negative words attract, right? Hence why you may not see me use, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, 
be uh, cursing too much when I speak, right? Not because I don't. I choose to do so when I want to make a point. I may use, I may do it, but it's not because I'm Nickelodeon and cute. I am not, right? Why is that? Because I understand my words have a vibration. So I choose them wisely, right? I choose them wisely. And I'm not saying cursing is bad, but that's like the example of what like attracts like does. Now, check this out. King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Tell me you are not meeting someone who's romantic and someone who's very grounded, beautiful energy for you. And I see here, whoa, did I just miss this? Oh my goodness. King of Pentacles, King of Cups, five of Pentacles, five of Swords. We got two Kings, two Fives. So this is very, very important. Your angels, your guides, this is the monumental uh, synchronicity here. You're meeting someone who's very grounded, very intuitive and empathic. Now, Spirit is also telling me that you have to be confident uh, in yourself in order to have the right frequency to match theirs. It's very, very important. I see a beautiful feature for you. I see a feature with you around someone that you adore, you love, you trust. Someone who really knows how to treat you like the queen that you may truly be, right? Or the king that you may truly be, which you are. Now, I feel like this person, you are going to feel very comfortable around them. I see them being someone who is not only very wisdomous, but someone who is very grounded and someone who's gonna help bring you out of your, your shell. And I say that with respect, right? Like for example, when I met my wife, Alicia, you know, I was very gung-ho, very business orientated, you know, uh, don't take no for an answer, you know, very ambitious, charismatic, but I was so serious. Why so serious? Then when she was so cool, calm and collective, and that's the energy that I feel from you. Now, what is Spirit telling you right now? In order for you to be your genuine, authentic self, you have to be your genuine, authentic self. You cannot be caught up with putting pressure on yourself. You cannot be caught up with really trying to uh, uh, have that lack of confidence caused by limiting beliefs. You cannot be caught up with a scarcity mindset of dealing with the past. What do you have to do? Focus on the now. Yellow attracts yellow, for example, right? So for example, what would I do in a situation like this? If I got the heads up that I'm going to meet someone that is going to be kind of like the yin to my yang that completes me in a different way, I'm just gonna try to make sure I be the best version of myself. I'm gonna be like, okay, Vince, so listen, what are your strengths and what can you improve? Not weaknesses, what can you improve? Okay, well, my strengths are I am, I don't take no for an answer. If I want something, I go get it. I'm very gung-ho and I'm gonna make sure that I find, you know, I, 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 if I put my mind towards something, I'm gonna get it. Say this is like Vince 14 years ago before Spirit, right? Then I'd be like, okay, so what can you improve on? Well, I can improve on, you know, connecting with Spirit and I can improve on with, you know, connecting with my higher self. Okay, so let's make sure that we are the best version of ourselves. So what I would do is I would make sure that I take care of myself where I can show, you know, whoever it is entering my life that these are all my pros, you know, look at me go. I'd make sure that I wake up on time, make sure that I feel good, make sure that my avatar is, you know, presentable. I'd make sure that, you know, I am uh, very confident in what I do by giving myself and honoring myself with the love and attention I deserve. And I'd focus on that. And I'd also touch on my, you know, the, the things that I could, you know, improve on. But I would try to be the most best version of myself, right? Because you know, in this world, in this third dimension, no one owes us anything. I don't care if it's a stranger. I don't care if it's a friend. I don't care if it's a spouse, especially if it's a spouse, guys. No one owes us anything. Alicia does not owe me anything. Sure, we're married. What does that really mean? It means absolutely nothing, right? It means that like I am dedicated to her, but it doesn't mean I own her. It doesn't mean that I can be comfortable. It doesn't mean that like, well, we're together now. Like I, 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 I completed the objective. No, if I don't carry myself in a certain way, I would not. I would hope that Alicia does not stay with me. If I go downhill and I start start being negative and if I start, you know, lowering her vibration, I don't want Alicia to be with me. I really would not want that. Why? Because I don't want to take someone down with me. So you got to understand no one owes anyone anything. And right now, you know, in order for this person to see that special magic that you provide, that beautiful abundance that you have within your heart, you have to give them a reason to do so, right? Give them a reason to, to, to really see your, to who you truly are. Now, we got the three of pentacles, ten of wands, the devil, and the seven of swords. I see here that prioritizing your energy is very important because I see a third party here that is going to coming into your life and you need to give them your attention. So whatever's going on with that ten of wands, prioritizing your energy is exactly what spirit wants for you right now. 
now you're taking on too much and you can tell it's not sustainable. You can tell that it is not something that is helping you. And it's like, for example, can you be doing it in one year, three year, five year? So if you're going to a job and you're telling yourself, man, I don't like this environment, then you got to ask yourself, you know, like, how long can I put up with this? Do I have a game plan to, you know, pivot, right? And I do feel like it's important right now because there is a third party. It could be a stranger, friend, family member, boss, coworker. Someone here is going to present something to you very soon. Pentacle energy, most likely about abundance, changing, you know, your life, investing in something. And you're going to have to be ready for it, right? And you're only ready for it when you are feeling your best. So make sure that you get enough sleep. Make sure you're eating the right things, guys. So important important that you all, everything starts with the gut and make sure that you're really putting yourself in a position to capitalize on the opportunities that's coming your way. All right, Cancer. So make sure that you check out the comment section and, and post your questions. And remember, keep it short and sweet. I love you. Until next time, I will say ciao.